Hey, 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 what's happening? Chad Allen here. I will be back in just a few moments. I'm gonna play a very short video. Here we go. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my live call. My name is Chad Allen and today we are going to be discussing about vitamin C and how it can be very beneficial to you and uh, the history of it as well. So we are going to be having some great discussions uh, about this very topic because a lot of people have asked questions about vitamin C and what the benefits are of vitamin C. So if you like, uh, please share this video with your friends and family and share it. Uh, also be a uh, comment below and say hi to me and I'll be sure to say hi back. And also, um, if you are, are here for the first time, please, uh, state that as well. Okay, so let's get started about uh, vitamin C. So again, what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be discussing uh, about the history, about uh, how vitamin C works in the body and what are the benefits of it. So this is my daughter, say hi, hi Sarah. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna put you down, okay? All right, so that's my beautiful daughter. She's so amazing. So, so the benefit, so vitamin C has been around for a long, 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 long time. So of course, since the creation, and so what we back in the 1700s, uh, there was a scientist. I think it's scientist Lynn. It was like one other guy. I can't remember who it was, but anyway, they started studying. Uh, they did uh, experiments with uh, with a diet that became nutritionists and stuff like that, and then. The, the one of them said, okay, let's do a, uh, a, a study on if I just ate bread and then if I just uh, and I took away all the fruits and whatnot and didn't, eat, didn't really eat any of those things and I'll slowly add those things back in. Well, that guy, what happened was he ended up developing scurvy <laughs> and he ends up dying from malnutrition because uh, he did not have enough. Uh, vitamin C in his body. Well, the other person uh, learned that whenever uh, sailors ate citrus fruit, that they would become, that they uh, would be protected against uh, against the scurvy. So the British uh, government decided in the, uh, in the 1700s to make sure that everyone, that every ship, Every sailor had lime juice, and that was how uh, the scurvy began to uh, dissipate. But no one really knew what was causing the the scurvy to go away, and it wasn't until 1930s where you had another scientist, and I cannot pronounce his name, but you can go to my blog uh, blog post at chadallen.net. And you can uh, check out his name there. I don't want to butcher his name. It's a, it's, a, it's a very hard name to pronounce. But anyway, so he discovered that in citrus fruit, there were uh, this vitamin that was called vitamin C. And this was the element, the vitamin, that, would, that stopped uh, scurvy from happening. And so today... Vitamin C has become a major, major, major part of our diet and our nutritional um, supplementation as, as, as a whole. And so what, so what this has done is that we have now seen where we are taking 
uh, vitamin C, and vitamin C is actually effective for many, many other things. Now we are seeing people start taking vitamin C for uh, colds, for whenever they uh, or they get the flu or whatever, and they start uh, taking in more uh, vitamin C. And then they find themselves getting better because the vitamin C is no longer uh, is no longer a uh, a uh, so it's no longer as the duration is not as bad. It's a lot less, and people are you know getting a little bit healthier overall. And hold on, I, I apologize about the noise, sweetie. Can you put this uh, on lower for a moment? Yeah, just a little bit. That's all. There, there you go, sweetheart. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> so we, so, so now we are seeing uh, great, more and more great benefits. And now with the with COVID coming in, uh, the, this current pandemic, people are really uh, are starting to look more to uh, vitamin C and also uh, to other. Uh, immune type uh, supplementation in order to have their immune systems boosted and be educated so that they can defend themselves against uh, the the COVID-19 or against the flu or against pneumonia or against other ailments that uh, typically come uh, your way. So again, you can go to my web uh, page, my web blog at chadallen.net, C-H-A-D-A-L-L-A-N.net. Or chadallen.pro. That's C H A D A L L E N dot pro. And there you can read all about this uh, article. So, so let's uh, let's go ahead and continue. So, what are the benefits of of or how? Let me let's let's go with how do, how is how does uh, vitamin C actually work in the body? Because before we actually talk about the benefits of vitamin C, let's gain a very quick knowledge of how vitamin C actually works in the body and why. And this will lead into why we are seeing the kind of benefits that we are getting from vitamin C. Uh, and this is uh, something that you don't know, always get with other uh, vitamins, but but vitamin C is, is a very uh, good uh, vitamin to have in your, in your in your diet. So, how vitamin C actually works is that it helps to uh, break down, helps to use the fats, the carbohydrates, the proteins, uh, and it uses them in an effective way in order to in order to uh, it's it's like taking allowing your body to use them in such a way that they get benefit from it. So when you don't have vitamin C in your body, this is why malnutrition begins to happen because you know you're having the fats there, you're having the carbohydrates, you're having the proteins, but they are not being properly uh, broken down. They're not being used in a, in such a way that becomes beneficial to them uh, to the body. So when you when you uh, have the vitamin C, the fats and the carbohydrates, the proteins are being broken down and also being used uh, more effectively to build to, in order to give you more nutrition. So when there's malnutrition in the in the body, you can also assume that the person is malnourished in vitamin C as well. So vitamin C is also an antioxidant. So if so, in other words, what happens is, as an antioxidant, vitamin C is going to help bind these free radicals. Uh, and because for, if we know we know about free radicals, free radicals can really damage uh, body tissue. It can cause uh, it can cause uh, cancers to, to begin to uh, develop because you're having all these uh, cells going crazy. So, vitamin C helps to bind these things in order to help protect the body tissue from uh, getting damaged. And you know, vitamin C also helps with um, uh, healing, uh, you know, allowing you to have healthy bones. It allows you to have healthy gums and teeth. and also allows you to have healthy ligaments. So everything that 
you can think of, vitamin C is going to help you uh, in that particular area. Without vitamin C, you're going to see uh, – you're not going to have the collagen that comes into the body, the, the collagen that's going to help uh, keep the, uh, your skin intact well, you know, to give you the, the kind of, of uh, strong skin. You know how when you get a lot of older people, they get uh, very thin skin, and whatever they touch, they tend to, uh, they tend to get the skin, uh, the skin cares and whatnot, but that's because of the lack of collagen that begins to happen with them. And then, so it, their skin becomes much more, uh, more frail. But when you're having a, a good dose of vitamin C, when you have the right kind of dose, that it helps to build uh, collagen because collagen uses vitamin C as a way to, uh, as an ingredient to uh, build more collagen. So without without vitamin C, you're not going to have the collagen. That's going to be like the glue that sticks, the glue that keeps everything intact, your body organs, your your skin, everything. So collagen is a very important uh, ingredient to your body. And it's a, it's a protein and it's abundant. But if you don't have the vitamin C, then all that uh, begins to uh, to fade. And what happens with a uh, scurvy bite, when you have a, a vitamin C deficiency, what happens is, that old wounds, like if you have an old wound, like so if you're vitamin C deficient, those wounds begin to open. Your gums begin to bleed. Your gums are, you know, get swollen. And this is what we, uh, what, we, we, what we would know as scurvy. And this is why scurvy can, it's very, very treatable. And this is why it can really become uh, a dangerous and fatal um, illness because you become malnourished, you become vitamin C deficient, and then wounds open, it creates more infections, and then done. So, so you definitely want to keep your vitamin C. If you are if you feel like you're having more fatigue, you know, bloody gums, swollen gums, that kind of thing, take more vitamin C. And after a couple of days of taking a good, a decent amount of vitamin C, uh, that those things will really, uh, should really start to clear up. So, so now let's talk about the benefits of, of uh, vitamin C. So I don't know if you know this or not, but we know that vitamin C helps us in our immune health. And, but why does it help us in our immune health? You know, why is it that when we, don't, when, when we take vitamin C that you know, certain things, uh, it just somehow it just makes us better. We take it for a cold and somehow after taking it, for so long, the cold is not nearly as bad, or it's a lot less. So this is because this is because um, it it helps to uh, boost uh, immune cells. So in other words, the white uh, the white uh, cells that you're having in your body it helps to produce it helps your body to produce your immune system to produce more uh, immune cells. So as, as, so vitamin C becomes a very integral part of your immune response. Now, does vitamin C uh, transfer immunity from one source to another? No, it doesn't because it's, uh, vitamins do not have that uh, ability to do, do so. This is where we start talking about immune messengers, where immune messengers uh, transfer immunity and also helps to build that immunity within your body. Whereas vitamins and minerals like vitamin C uh, helps with the boosting in the, uh, in order for there to be uh, in order to give the cells the ability to go out and and uh, destroy whatever is there, but it cannot educate and it cannot uh, remember uh, the past tax. But it is very important in the initial response of things. So as stated already. Uh, vitamin C is very beneficial in the treatment of scurvy and other illness, illness that are vitamin C deficient. So this could be anything. This is why some people with cancer, they will take uh, vitamin C and some of them will actually get well because it, it ends up being that their cancer was a vitamin deficiency or a mineral deficiency or whatever instead of something uh, else where some might be stress related or whatever. So 
the, it, what happens also with uh, vitamin C, it, vitamin C st will stimulate the production of white blood cells, uh, and it, it, but it also, what it does, is it protects the white blood cells from the toxins that they uh, spew out in order to destroy their cells. So, so you imagine that the white, these white blood cells are, are they're, they're killing these uh, bad cells that are there. So what vitamin C is going to do, it's going to give those white blood cells a protective barrier a protection against uh, those that toxin that it is spewing into the uh, into the uh, other the cells that it's, that it's killing, so that the white blood cell is not affected by its own toxins, and that is how uh, vitamin C it becomes a protective barrier, and why, like I said, immune response is very important for the immune response. Did you know that also vitamin C helps in the formation of antibodies that bind to invading microbes? In other words, uh, when you have like your, your B cells and it's got the antibodies on, uh, and it seeks out these microbes and then it's like, and it's like oh, here's, I have to attach this antigen to this uh, particular microbe and so that it could be marked for destruction. And so uh, vitamin C helps uh, these cells to, to build up more antibodies so that it can, so that these B cells and T cells can go after and kill these particular uh, microbes. Vitamin C is well known by many uh, people to have uh, effective wound healing. So, you know, when you have a uh, a wound and it doesn't seem like it's uh, healing it might be because of vitamin uh, C deficiency so you definitely want to uh, you know understand that hey maybe I need to take in more vitamin C and there's so many more other benefits to uh, vitamin C I mean from brain health to everything you know vitamin C plays in a very important role in our uh, overall immune uh, health and our immune response and so when we combine that with immune messengers oh my goodness you're talking about a really uh, powerful uh, an optimization of your immune system so so with that said where can we find uh, vitamin C you know it's vitamin C is could be anywhere it can uh, so you could buy it in the foods like strawberries and oranges you could buy it, uh even like brussels sprouts has vitamin c and guava and papaya kiwi uh pepper i mean there's so many uh fruits and vegetables especially the citrus fruits that has the vitamin c within it another way that you can get vitamin c is through supplementation now, there are lots and lots of vitamin C uh, uh, bottles, like you, know, like you could buy at the store. So you could buy companies that you know, make vitamin C. You can go to the, uh, your local store and buy vitamin C. Uh, so typically what happens is the general RDA, the recommended daily dose, uh, according to um, the FDA, C CDC, etc. is it's actually quite low in my in my personal opinion. It's quite low. Uh, they will say that uh, the recommended daily dose is sixty milligrams per day, but that is for someone who is extremely extremely healthy and you know doesn't really have any kind of health issues. So anytime you have a health issue when it comes to, especially when it comes to vitamin C or, or any kind of, kind of uh, supplementation that you're taking, you have to remember that that is typically the, the recommended daily dose and it's not, uh, it may not be what you uh, should be taking because of your uh, particular health issue or condition or whatever. Most of the supplements that you're going to buy in the store, and especially the one that I take and that I offer my uh, family and friends, it's going to be 500 milligrams uh, twice a day. And that is typical and very, uh, and it's actually very good. But 
even with that amount, when you're taking a thousand milligrams uh, per day or one gram per day, sometimes that is not going to be enough uh, if you were to get sick. So, so yeah, you need to take vitamin C and you don't get sick. But sometimes you need to increase that amount when you do get uh, a cold or you do get uh, some other like diarrhea or whatever it is that you get. You you have to increase it. That what you have to watch out for though when you uh, increase your vitamin C is that if you increase it too much, then you could get diarrhea. So if that were to happen, you back off until the diarrhea uh, goes away. You back it off by twenty percent, and then within actually typically within uh, not not so long, but with with very quickly you, you could usually get start get, getting rid of your illness. Does it work all the time like that? No, it doesn't because everyone is different and everyone has a different immune system. Everyone has, uh, they react very differently to, to various things. So these are not always something that you would uh, particularly, uh, like these are, these are sort of like guidelines, but they should not be followed to the T per se. So you really have to work with your doctor, that kind of thing, okay? But in a general sense, uh, that's typically what you would would do. But it's not always the. It's not always. Uh, you, it, for one person, it might be very effective. For another person, it may not be effective. So that's why you have to work with a doctor that knows uh, a lot about this uh, kind of thing. So I want to thank you for being on the call and. Like I said, you can visit my webpage at uh, chadallen.net, C-H-A-D-A-L-L-A-N.net, or you go to chadallen.pro, C-H-A-D-A-L-L-E-N.pro. It takes you to the same website. It's just uh, two different names. And uh, you can also click on the banner there on the homepage, and you get my freebie, which is the Ultimate Health Survival Guide, and you can uh, learn more about immune messengers uh, there. You can also read about uh, the article about vitamin C and have many, many other articles there as well that you can also check out uh, online. And if you're wanting to know more about the vitamin C that I take and my family takes, uh, just go ahead and message me and I will get with, and I'll get back with you and let you know what I take And because I believe it's a very good product. So I thank you so much for your time. Share the uh, please share this video with other people, and if you especially if you found benefit uh, on this, and I will catch you later on. Take care. Bye bye.